All right, folks, welcome back for some more Magic Farm 2, Minecraft 164. And I have just gone through and done the update from version 114 to the latest 118. I'd read off the list of changes, but it's kind of everything. So, uh, <laughs> lots and lots of updates to lots and lots of different mods. One thing they added is this book, How to Survive. I guess I can show it here. How to Survive by Jaded Cat. Mod Pack Tweaks. So this is good if you're going to start this from scratch. It doesn't help us much at this point. But um, yeah, this talks about the, uh, the overall mod pack and hunger, hunger mechanics. Uh, this is kind of nice. It doesn't format very well. But um, maybe if I was on the larger GUI scale. I don't know. Anyway, but this tells you about your different levels of... Um, pickaxes and, and progression. So we did the bronze and now we're on Alumite and next would be Ardite, Cobalt, and Manulin. And it says here that Redstone Arsenal is added and Thumbcraft is of course part of this and those are the top tier Manulin. So yeah, I think I love the Iguana Tweaks. I love going up through this but I don't know. I mean maybe just a pickaxe of the core or whatever the um, um, redstone arsenal one would be good I'm not sure the other thing I meant to say is at the very end it says if you type MF change log in the chat window you will get a book with the latest change log and there you go now really you should be reading that before you download an update because sometimes uh, especially on these earlier pack beta packs whatever I don't know if this one's actually called beta uh, but at any rate um, Sometimes there are kind of world changing bugs or uh, not bugs, uh, world changing things done, changes changed. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, uh, it's time to get to farming, and you can see I've done a bit of work out there. Um, before I run right out there, I wanted to show you this other little bit of work I did. <gasps> oh my god! The back wall is missing. Yeah, okay. So I took this wall out and I took the wall out here I had for the uh, smeltery room and basically pushed everything out and gave us some more room. Um, I didn't have enough to go all the way around and do the whole big thing, but that'll be next because uh, definitely going to need a nice large area for Thomcraft. I think that's going to be my Thomcraft area. Obviously, this is the Tinker's Construct area. And I think I'm going to put. Uh, thermal expansion and AE kind of like right in the middle here or maybe over here somewhere around around there so they're they're gonna be kind of like right down the middle and the power will probably go in underneath it I'll dig a little basement out etc so uh, where's the day okay yeah we got plenty of daylight so I did flatten a bunch of this out if you remember there was uh, some water here and actually quite a bit of sand I dug all the sand out and put a layer of dirt back down on the top, smoothed it all out, took kind of a layer off over there and gave a little bit bigger area. Um, this went down further so I filled in a little bit more there and put some stairs in place. So I'm thinking this I might put like a little uh, area for some animals down here. Not quite big enough but it's not bad. You know what let's just let's do that right now because I think I'm going to put some animals here and then I'll put um, gotta have our gates and then I'll put the um, farm crops and stuff up there so just uh, I didn't actually plan anything out here so I'll just other than generally let's do it down there yeah. Uh so yeah let's just kind of make this something like so of course I did make up some fences obviously here um, yeah, probably take that tree down and use use this. Okay. And I always end up. Um, well, we don't want them out. I don't tear too much if stuff gets in. So uh, we can do like this. I usually just put the whole darn thing down and then decide where I want gates to go. So I I did make a few gates. Uh, one should definitely go over here. And one should definitely go at the bottom of these stairs. Which one? Probably this one. OK. 
Okay, and um, yeah, let's put one like here. I'm not sure what I'll do down there yet. I may, I may clear out the. Well, that's an idea. I may kind of take that down and then even all this off and expand the uh, area for animals. Eh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we do there. So, uh, yeah, let's, I always like to put some torches up. Let's see, official right amount six. Uh, six blocks of light or something? I forget. That's more than we need, but less than we don't need. So there you go. And if that didn't made any sense, oh boy. I guess I could move that gate over one, and then that would give me a center point to put a torch. Alright, let's do that. Boom. Give me that. And like this. Alright, there we go. So, a little spot to start gathering up some animals, and our first culprit is Mr. Cow. Boink! Hello, Mr. Cow. Mm. Welcome to your new home. Yes. Alright. Cool. So, we start on that. I'll keep the uh, golden lasso around, of course, and we'll be able to grab some other animals as we go. We started looking at food, obviously, as part of this farming. So we got we want to get past the uh, juice, although the juice is pretty darn good. And uh, went through a bunch of stuff and ended up doing the search on uh, wholesome. So we've got wholesome meals. Uh, we've got wholesome large meals. And the ultimate, supreme pizza, a wholesome feast. And I think that is the biggest one in the game. The other thing you can do is search for feast, and you see there's three, uh, four feasts: a regular feast, a nourishing feast, uh, two nourishing feasts, and a wholesome feast, which is the pizza. But I don't. I was missing a couple things for this supreme pizza. I'm pretty close, actually. So you need uh, spice leaf, bell peppers, onions. Uh, the cutting board, which is easy to make now that we have iron, and the pizza itself, which takes uh, po pork chop or tofu, tomato, cheese, and dough. Uh, the cheese you can either make with, I think this is agriculture, with milk and vinegar, or if you get the other cheese, you can make it with a pot, milk, and salt. Salt is not renewable, so you have to dig for that. The dough you can do, blah blah. So yeah, it's you know it's kind of a lot of stuff to do, uh, but I think this guy is looking good. Footlong hot dog. You make it with bread, so obviously we got to plant wheat, lettuce, which we can do, tomato, which I have a seed for, and then either one of the um, meats or tofu, and I figure out how to make tofu. At least I think I did, and mayo, which is just juiced eggs or juiced firm tofu so this one seems much much easier to me and it's a wholesome large meal it's not a feast but it's a large meal it's still wholesome I think it sounds good so I'll be planning a few things here but um, but yeah I think that's kind of the way to go so from all that let's see we got soybeans and soybeans help you make tofu or are what tofu is made from whatever uh, tomatoes, which we needed in a couple different things. Bell peppers, which we needed. Lettuce. Uh, spice leaves, which I didn't. Yes, pres uh, but yes, presumed. We can make a seed, so there's a seed for that. And wheat. We're definitely going to want some wheat, so let's make some wheat mm -hmm. seeds there. Get our hoe out. Get our bucket out. Because obviously we need some water. And that's pretty good. So where exactly is this going to go? Oh yeah, and I didn't hadn't turned around, I guess, but I flattened all this out, just evened it out, put some half slabs. I'm I'm still liking the cobble half slabs. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's weird. I mean, normally you don't like cobble, but I kind of like it just for like I don't know. It's it's like it's like that cobblestone path that you walked on when you were a kid, I guess, or I did. Anyway. Okay, so my standard farm is really, really basic. Oh, and there's a 
Thomcraft node right there. Um, I don't think that'll mess up anything. You can break these. I don't want to. So yeah, maybe we want to avoid that. Yeah, I can't place something in that block. Well, that's all right. That's not a big deal. Anyway, so in a standard mod pack, my farm is simply uh, go five from every side. So if we call this uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then actually four from here would be fine. One, two, three, four, and actually that. So if I put a bucket of water here and then um, till the earth, I can go four out in each direction. Oh, yes, yeah, so they added growth craft. And I have no idea what growth craft does, but apparently this is new, new to me. So I don't know what that does. Okay, you can still revert it by jumping on it. I don't know, we'll leave it like that and see what happens. Whoa! Oh, these fill in with water? Or... Okay, I may have to go read about growth craft, or you guys can tell me because I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, all right, so for now, if I can get this to revert, no, I'm going to just go with a regular tilled, and then we'll I'll have to go look up what the heck growth craft is all about. Uh, at any rate, so if I do like so, that one water typically, oh dear, uh, normally the one space of water will go four in each direction and you can get a nice uh, five by five, no, nine by nine farm out of that. So I'll start here and, you know, there's there's ways to automate this. We can do some MFR stuff. We can do some golems from Thomcraft, or you know, there's a bunch of different options, but I didn't want to actually spend too much time. Uh, and just to make a point, I'll do this next one, and that eventually should revert back to until. Uh, okay, and I'm gonna, I am going to turn on F7. I don't know if you guys find that annoying or not, but I like to see it so I can place torches in the right spice, spaces. So this could be one, uh, there you see that one already reverted because it's too far from the water. And then I could do a second one over here, or I could break this and make a water channel and do more over there. I don't know. But let's just start from here. Oh, and I guess I'm one, I am one further, or one closer to the edge than I want it to be. I always want to have a border around it so you don't come jumping up and then bam, jump right on the farm and break it. So that's my two cents. Uh, yeah, so normally I just hold down right click to do that, but now I'm getting these and I don't really know what those do. They are Paddy Field Name. Okay. The heck ever that is. Right. Stop it. I'll leave that one and just plant on it and pretend it's normal and see what happens. Farming and this is the Thomcraft node, so I'll leave that one. Okay. Yeah, so what are we on? Episode 21 or 2 or something? And we're just now achieving vanilla Minecraft. What is it? Time, time to farm? Oh, where is that? Achievements. There we go. Time to farm. <laughs> Oh, well, except that, you know, we can't actually use sticks to, and planks to make a hoe, but there you go. Um, yeah, time to farm, achievement get. There you go. So, we definitely want wheat, and I want a lot of wheat because we want to breed cows and get lots of uh, leather out of them. And steak normally is really good, but it's not so good in, in here. Uh, but maybe I can figure out something good to do with steak. Well, I mean, you can, you can make the hot dogs with steak. But honestly, I think soybeans is going to be the easy route once we get these guys established. 
So I definitely want to get some soybeans started here. And we'll get the uh, tomatoes started and the spice leaf and the lettuce and the bell peppers. And yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to make anything out of this yet. So let's just make all these spice leaf. Oh, right. Yes. So when you plant it, well, it just says, oh, it's a crop name. It doesn't tell you what it actually is. Uh, but if I break it, I should get it back. Yeah, okay. So that's definitely spice leaf. All right, so we got a bunch of those. I only had one seed for most of the rest of them. Uh, I could run around and get some more, but yeah. This is a decent little start. Actually, let's see. How many bones do we have? Probably killed a few skeletons by now, haven't we? Holy bones, Batman. <laughs> um, boy, I don't remember where we got all those. Oh, the graveyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we've got tons and tons and tons of bones. Uh, let's... Make up some bone meal here and get us started off right. So, bam, bam, bam. Look at them. Ready to roll. And that's pickable, pickable. Alright, so there's some more soybeans. Ooh, 16. That was pretty good. Uh, let me keep just a couple to experiment with. And like I said, I think we're going to want kind of a lot of these because they can replace all the different um, meats. So we don't need chickens and pigs and cows and stuff for their meat, uh, although they want some anyway. All right, that's our tomatoes. Yep, look at that, tomato. Okay, let's get another seed. And do some growing here. Nice. All right. Well, I didn't realize I had so much uh, bone meal, but there are bones. Uh, but yeah, that's going to go really fast. Uh, well, yeah, let's just keep like a couple of each and kind of get this moving. With all that bone meal, this is going to get going fast. That one didn't want to grow. Come on, cheater, grow. There you go. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's do. It. Got tons and tons of bones. Let's do. A few more. Let's see. One, two, three. There. So we'll have a row of tomatoes. And we've already got a fair amount of these guys. What were these again? Those are the spiced leaf, right? Yeah. And everything is pretty much right click to uh, harvest. And I saw that was one of the things they changed in the one of the change logs was about right clicking instead of left clicking on some item. I think it was agriculture. It used to be left click to harvest and now it's right click. So that's cool. Lettuce. Lots of lettuce. Go lettuce. Go lettuce. Go lettuce. Oh geez. 25 of them. Yeah, we're getting a lot. That's more than we need. Um, what do I need? Like eight, seven, six? Sure, six sounds good. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, yeah. Oh, one more. It was seven. All right, cool. Lots of lettuce. And what do you got here? Uh, that's our bell peppers. Yeah, we're going to need some of those. Get about ten. Oh, yeah, we're good. Cool. Keep a couple of those guys around. I have never been so excited about farming. This is pretty exciting. All the stuff. Oh, wow. Don't fall down there. Um, yeah, there's just tons of stuff to make, and uh, that's not really very good. Keep it off. Okay, wheat. Uh, I do, actually, I want to get some carrots and potatoes going too, because those are also useful. There we go. Look at that. You right click them, and both the seeds and the wheat pop out instead of boning it up like I did earlier, and uh, Left-clicking it. Boy, that did take quite a lot of... Yeah, okay. That did take quite a lot of bone meal. 
but that's cool. We, <laughs> like I said, we got a whole ton of stuff. Um, what should we do now? Let me get some carrots and some taters and get those guys planted because I did notice they're useful in some different um, recipes. Not, not a ton of them because, I don't know, there's just so much different stuff to grow. And I'm definitely going to need a better storage system in a big old hurry here, aren't we? Anything else that we that I should plant right now? Oh yeah, one thing I did notice, if you use the uh, default sorting button in your siege chest, it sorts them by, uh, I don't know if it's by ID or by... Well, it turns out to be alphabetically. So A, A, B's, C's, etc. So, oh, beans. Yeah, I saw on the bean burrito you need the beans. But you also need rice and cheese, which looked a little bit, a little more difficult. Uh, you either needed salt, which again you can't grow that I know of, or you needed vinegar, which I'm not sure how to make. And that tortilla takes extra stuff so anyway, I didn't go that route but I definitely think this is gonna be some good stuff alright what else uh, garlic, cabbage, celery oh I do have corn seeds I saw that corn flour tortilla was an option ooh peanut okay I'm planting that because you can make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and those are just awesome sometimes Barley, turnip, sunflowers, and salt. Alright, let me go ahead and put, um, let's say, half a row of potatoes and half a row of corn. Corn. Uh, carrots. I definitely want to get the peanut planted. Do I want to do some more peanuts? It's almost time. You know what? Let's just finish this up. Can we plant this? No. So I don't know what exactly you do with those. I will have to look up what the heck this is. For the moment, quickly, before we lose the sun, let us fix that. And apparently I didn't bring enough stuff. All right. Never mind. We'll leave that one up. Leave that one for the moment. Probably one more carrot or one more potato, I forget which. Get over here and get slept. Alright, cool. So I didn't want to spend like a whole ton of time farming, but I did want to get that started so that it can be uh, growing while we're out and about doing stuff. And with all that bone meal, I think I may be able to make a hot dog right now. Chomp, 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 chomp. Uh, the one thing we are going to need is eggs. And we only have the one right now, but we'll take care of that. Okay, so I did get some wheat and be able to start getting some cows going. Let's throw the dirt in there. Alright, so for the footlong hot dog, we need bread. So I need three wheat. Lettuce, we got. Tomatoes, we got. Uh, yeah, let's do the tofu thing. Did I get any soybeans? Yeah. So I believe, and this worked in the other mod pack, that, okay, so you go to NEI, whatever this is, and you do tofu, and you say, okay, I can get firm tofu or silken tofu, and unless they fixed it, no. There's no recipes listed. So you, you can hit R, you can click on them, no chance, no, it doesn't tell you how to do it. Uh, and honestly, I had a little trouble finding on online how to do it too, but I think I've got it figured out. So we need a couple of pistons. So I need some cobble, some wood, some iron, which is way over here still. Oh, that's another thing I got to work on: is boots of the traveler, so I can actually move. Oof. All right. So we're gonna need a presser from Pam's Harvest Craft. Two pistons. Oh, we need some more iron. Okay. Oh, and redstone. Yeah, we got redstone now, right? I think so. Must be over here. Need uh, six more iron. 
Um, sure, there's redstone here somewhere. Where is it? There it is. Two? Yeah, two. All right, piston, shift click, and one, two. Presser, shift click, and presser, bam. So, this has all the food in it for now. Let's. Eh, that's kind of it. I'll pop it right there for now. This guy has an interface, and shift clicking doesn't do a darn thing. But if you take your soybeans, come on, there it goes, and you put them in the top slot, and you get a little progress thing, no power or nothing, and out pops soy milk. So here's an easy way to get milk, which, you know, list all milk. Uh, you can see in the tooltip there, it'll work like regular milk. And silken tofu. Sweet. Um, now, let's go back to our footlong. Hot dog. And this needs firm tofu. Okay. How do you get firm tofu? Again, recipe. No recipe. Drop it in here. And here goes our little progress guy. And our silken tofu turns into firm tofu. So there you go. Presser from Pam's Harvest Craft is the way to do it. To get your tofu, if you so choose. Uh, I'm going to need a cutting board, which is going to take a piece of iron. Oh yeah, I walked past this a couple times. I, um, I made a whole stack of glass. And I didn't feel like adding, what is it, nine at a time. So I stuck a hopper on the side of here. Only problem is now I can't actually click on the um, thing behind it because everything's in the way. But for now that was all right. So I just stuck a bunch of sand in there and got out some uh, some glass. And that made things better. So I wanted to make a cutting board, which I think was that, that, and that. Bam. And now I have a lettuce. Oh, bread. I need some bread. There we go. Now this is a nourishing light meal. Yeah, we don't want no light meals. Oh, and we need to juice the egg to get mayo. So this, this, yeah, this is a few steps. This is kind of one of the points, I guess, is to make, make creating food, make the process of creating food worth it. So you don't just cook up a steak and then bam, you're done. You eat steak forever. All right, so let's try this. And shift click apparently doesn't work. This is shape, shapeless, so that's good. Uh, okay, so we need a cutting board, some mayo, a piece of lettuce, the tom tofu. We'll make two of them here. Uh, oh, but I didn't make two bread. Fortunately, I have all sorts of random crafting tables laying around. What else? Bread, mayo. Oh, yeah, we only have one mayo. That's why. Um, tomato and mayo. Tomato, mayo, bam, foot long. There's our first real meal since we started the entire map. How awesome is that? Cool. So I'm going to have to get uh, a chicken or two. And get a little egg farm going, which is not a problem. Actually, let me get set up for that right now, and then I'll check time and see how much more time we got here. Um, lots and lots and lots of ways to make chicken farms, egg farms. Super easy way. Oh yeah, I'll leave that in there. Super easy way for me is just to make a hopper and put a couple chickens on top of it. I got a chest. There it is. Uh, put some chickens on top of it and fence them in. Makes it real easy. Actually, I guess if I did it with blocks instead of fences, it would be even better. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so is it getting there? Um, yeah, got a couple minutes. Let's try to try to set this up real quickly. 
I think again I'm gonna put some some different animals and stuff down here and let's just do right off the edge here chickens are so frigging noisy they drive me nuts so we're gonna put them way over here in the corner and what I'm just gonna do is make a spot here to put chickens down in we'll drop them right in here they won't be able to get get back out uh, maybe I should have built this up one higher oh well we'll just dig okay and then we'll just real simple there's our place for the chickens and we need the chest that I didn't bring Boing, boing, boing. Ah, yes, let's get rid of you too. So many things to do. It's hard to keep on task. Have you guys noticed that? Like, let's do this. Okay, now let's do that. Let's do this. Let's do that. So many things. Why are you bouncing? You're bouncing. Stop it. Okay, come on. There we go. Chest. Well, now it probably is about time. No, not yet. Always watching that uh, sun. Boy, that thing moves fast when you're not paying attention. Okay. Oh, sapling. So we can do something more complex later. Oh, yeah, I've, I've done barrels before. Whatever, that's fine. Uh, let's just go here and we need to get the hopper. I guess I can see it from down there. I don't have to jump in. And uh, you click where you want things to go. And of course, I don't want to open the chest. So you shift right click on the top. Hopper sits there. And anything that hits it on the top will go down into the chest. And we will start gathering eggs as soon as we put something. Oops. Well, that's all of them. So I just threw my cobble down there. And of course, bam, cobble shows up down here. Oh, interesting. A little bit of a. I think they're faster normally. Hmm, maybe that's nerf too. Anyway, uh, so that's pretty cool. And now I just need some chickens to fill it with. And I hear a sheep down there. Obviously, we got that one cow. I'll I'll probably just run around off camera a little bit, try to find a few um, animals, and start getting the farm filled up. Let's see. You know. I'm just gonna do it. I gotta do it. I'm gonna run and jump and eat up all my hunger. Look at that, the hunger is just going like crazy. I gotta try this wholesome meal and just see how much it does. So this is not the feast, this is the meal. Large meal. I think it's gonna do four, but I don't know for sure. So I wanna just really nail my hunger here for a minute. Bouncing, bouncing. <laughs> All right, one more. Yeah, one more. I'm pretty sure it's not going to do more than this. Come on. There we go. All right, so we've got three. Let's eat our foot-long hot dog right right before bed. No, let's sleep first. Never eat a big meal right before bed. That's a terrible idea. And I am starving. Oh, after that long night's sleep up in the right corner, it tells me I'm starving. Let's give this a try. Oh my. Two, four, four and a half. And since it's wholesome, that should give quite a bit of saturation as well. So I shouldn't have to eat for quite a while now. Oops, double eat. That's one thing, but I yeah, probably said it already, but server, even on single player, there's actually a server uh, running. And sometimes you'll double eat whatever. So if you want to. Make sure you don't double eat like a golden apple or something. Eat one and then quickly switch to another uh, another inventory spot. Okay. All right. I think that's pretty much all the things I wanted to do right now. Let me organize a little bit and go find some more animals off camera probably. And then... I'll have to see. I'm thinking it's about time for smelt, uh, smeltery, uh, thermal expansion and applied energistics, but 
probably going to have to do some more caving. You know, normally I would say I'll just do digging off camera, but <laughs> with Deadly World, eh, caving's kind of not too bad uh, on on camera here. So, all right, looks like it's already time to get a few crops, which is just fantastic. So, I will work on the uh, animals and the crops a bit. I see a cow just staring at us in the distance there. And we'll be back next time. Hope to see you then. Thanks.